what is up game junkies I just realized that you guys can't see it uh there we go load up thank you welcome back to dark deception sorry I forgot to turn off the music uh if you guys can't hear in that in background I uh, added music to it so you guys can like if I'm playing a quiz or something it's in the background so you guys can hear it anyway guys right now uh, obviously I'm playing dark deception uh, I have to move this mic because it's in my way of my fingers. I don't know where to put it. Right, I guess right there is fine. We are going to resume. Alright. I love this game. Hey, CJ. Hey, can you go close the door? Okay. Okay, fine. See. I am not ready for another nightmare. Alright. So the next one, oh, that's an eerie sound. The next one, I do not like at all. Uh, I guess we're just going to head right into it. Whoa, the room just disappeared. Oh, end chapter. Hey, kid, your fingernails are a little bit too long for me. To be continued in chapter two. That's cool. I, what do I do? I can't do anything. Alright. Wait a minute, what? Do I not have chapter 2? What? CJ! You didn't tell me chapter 2 wasn't out. Alright, I guess we're just gonna play chapter 1 again. Uh, I know Markiplier played more of this. It's locked again. But the eyeball is... Oh! oh. Alright guys, I will be right back because I will find another horror game to play. Because obviously this one is broken. Uh, hopefully, uh, sorry if I'm a little bit too loud. I'm just trying to make it better than the music in the game. Because... I realize that you guys can barely hear me in the, the last episode, so I will see you guys in a second. Welcome back, guys. Welcome to Kill or Love. I just downloaded it off of Game Jolt, uh, and uh, it is the top-rated horror game right now. As that that I know of, that's what it said in Game Jolt. Um, but I hope you guys like it. I hope I like it. Options. Uh... Oh, okay. So it reads too. I saw some of the pictures that it read that people were talking. So I didn't know whether it uh, talked or it didn't. Let's start this puppy. This is a work of fit. Okay. Can't read that fast. Warning contains... Okay, so, hold on, hold on, hold on, how do I pause? Okay. Jack! Oh, there's a voice calling me. Wake up, Jack! It's a woman's voice. I want to, I want to keep on sleeping, but it doesn't seem like she'll give up soon. I open my eyes. Whoa. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Oh. I know her. I know her not just because she is my nurse. I've known her for a long time now. Her name is Anna. Oh, of course it is. What? Can't talk? I don't know. What am I doing? My throat hurts. Is your throat too dry? Hang on a second. She comes back with some water and a paper cup. She helps me sp spit up, then puts the cup on my mouth and lets me drink. Good. Feel better now? Now? Yeah. <laughs> Make Jack a really deep voice. Thanks. <laughs> Great. 
Are you comfortable here? Can you sleep well? How's your legs? Why are you getting very close to my face? Does it hurt? Are you bored? I, I'm i alright. Well, if you say so. <laughs> Tell me if there's anything I can do to help you, okay? <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, actually... Yes, Jack? What is it? What's the date today? Do you know? Oh, just that? It's August the 3rd. I see, thank you. Anything else? I shrug. Well, okay then. I have to go now. Our patients, you know. Other pa pa patients, you know. But I'll be back in a bit. Don't worry. Anna leans down and pecks me on the cheek lips. Whoa. Okay. Okay. So he said he known her. He's known her for a long time. Bye bye. I. Uh, but were they like married or something? Or is that his? What? Never mind. All right. What is next? Start of junior. Uh, journal, August 3rd. I am going to kill someone. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. I did not expect this at all. Because it's like, Oh, hi Jack, I'm your nurse. Okay, can I get some water, blah blah blah. All of that romantic stuff. And uh, start journal of August 3rd. I am going to kill someone. Okay. Probably. Her name... Her name is Anna. Her name is Anna, guys. He's gonna kill Anna. I don't want to do it. I'm not a violent man. But what else can I do? It would be wrong to let her live, right? What? What is the situation, Jack? But I can't kill her just yet. I'm too weak. I trust my grip strength today. I wrap a hand around my wrist and squeezed. Did I read that right? I wrapped a hand. Okay. Uh, I can't feel it hurt at all. Not even a little bit. But it doesn't matter. So what I think is he's going to choke her to death. Even if I was strong enough to go through with it, I still have to wait. I can't do anything until I know Grace is safe. Grace like a daughter? Grace? It hurts to think about her. I want to tell her story, or I want to tell her I'm sorry. I'm sorry I got her involved. Please be safe, Grace. So all we know right now is that it, he's known the nurse for a long time. Her name's Anna. His name's Jack. There's a girl named Grace that he wants to say sorry to, and he gotten her involved in something. He also wants to kill Anna for some reason. Grace, 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 Grace. It calms me down when I write her name. You're creepy. Grace, Grace, Grace. I am so sorry. Whoa, a floor. August 4th. The journal is still here, thank God. I was afraid she would find it somehow. When I saw that she didn't, uh, I was such... It was such a huge relief. Sorry, I'm bad at reading. I want to write in it right away, but no, I don't. I have to be patient. I'll write only when I'm sure Anna is not around. Not while she's walking around tending to patients, patient, uh, pretending she's not who she really is. So she has a secret? And it's a good thing I wait. And it's a good- oh. She came into my room only a few minutes after I woke up. She smiled and asked me how my night had been. I held back from telling her how I was really, f how I really felt about being here and about her. I mean, it, it, it's not like I had, I can hide anything, not a, after what happened. But at least I can pretend I'm not planning to do what I'm going to do. And who knows, maybe she'll, she thinks I've gotten back to how I was before. I haven't... I haven't, oh my god, uh, I haven't gone back and I'd rather die than be like that again. 
but it would be nice if she believed that. She let her guard down. Well, it doesn't matter that much, really. Even if she found out my plans on killing her, so what? So what? I'll end her life just the same. If it comes to that. Oh my god, I'm tearing up. What the hell is going on right now? I'll do it. If I need to kill Anna to save Grace, I'll do it in a heartbeat. What is going on? You know what, actually? Grace doesn't even need to be safe. Yeah. Grace is fine somewhere far away without a care in the world. And I'm worrying over nothing. Yeah. If only... What the hell? August 5th. I haven't gained any strength back yet. I'm... Am I being impatient? I might be. So this guy's talking to himself through writing. The doctor thinks that for sure that I'm being impatient. I asked him for some exercises I can do, but he told me to shut up and rest. That's a little harsh for a doctor. What are uh, what are you What are you such in a hurry for? He asked me. I couldn't tell him, so I didn't say anything. My next idea was to find a weapon. I hadn't seen anything good th though. I'll still look out for something I can't I could use, but I haven't got my hopes up. I mean, I could rip out rip out the needle in my arm connect connected to the IV drip, but I don't think that would be a good murder weapon. What then? I can't think of anything. My mind is foggy from the drugs and the pain, and god damn it, why is there why is there always so much shit. Damn, why did I swear? <laughs> Damn it. Why do I always have to deal with all of this? I hate heartbeats in my ears. Nothing I try to nothing I try is going to work. August 5th again. I've calmed down. I can't afford to lose my nerve. Not now of all times. No motions that come when I'm safe. When we're safe, both me and Grace. My biggest problem is not being able to walk. I've set the bone in my leg straight and everything, and it's healing in its cast, but I'll be able be a long time before I'm able to walk, I think. Maybe I'll be able to walk with a crutch soon. It could help me get my strength back. I'll ask the doctor when I see him. I don't know what's going on. I haven't seen Anna. It's early morning. I hear someone calling down the hall slow, slowly, not in a hurry. They sound like they're uh, wearing hospital slippers. Uh, most likely, it's a doctor under and a nurse. I hope it. Sorry, guys. I hope it's a nurse other than Anna. I pray that it's anyone else. The door opens, the doctor comes in and steps behind him is a nurse that is not Anna. I sigh in relief. Whoa, why is his face scrubbing out? In a lot of pain, huh? No, no. Why did I click? But well, I can't, it can wait. Unless it's urgent. It's not. Very, uh, very well then. The doctor can't be over 35 years old. He's wearing a golden watch and fine looking leather shoes. He doesn't look like a doctor to me at all, more like a businessman. The doctor goes from bed to bed with the nurse, checking on the patient, spending no time than a minute with each. He comes to my bed last. Okay, Mr. Friday. What was it again? Let's see here. He uh, he leafs through some papers and checks my t uh, tongue. Oh, you fell. Yeah. 
How the hell did you manage to do that? Oh. These substances we found in your blood explain that mystery. Not very clever, are you? Getting high and... Doctor, you can't say that. Oh, sue me. And you... And you... Don't do it again. Next time, I won't patch you up. You here? I'll try not to. He's... He's being... Ugh. <clears throat> He's being rude, but it doesn't really bother me. I've gotten... I've got more important things on my mind. Doctor, how long until I can start walking? At least the crutches. I don't know. What? What? You are a doctor, aren't you? My doctor? The very same. Who do you think operated on you? I look down at my leg. I'm suddenly very unsure of what I'll see when the cast comes off. Can't you at least guess when I'll be able to walk? I'd rather not. The nurse standing next to the doctor looked uncomfortable. She's holding a hand She's holding a hand to her forehead and sighing. But why not? Don't I deserve to know? Well, a lot of factors are playing here, you see. The doctor starts moving his right hand in complex patterns. Plenty of factors can change how quickly you heal. A whole lot. So who can really say? Factors like what? Oh, so many. Like what? Like, uh... He glanced down at his papers. Like your blood pressure. Which is crap, by the way. Are you stressing over something? Y yes. No. No, doctor. I'm not. I'm fine. He frowns a little. Well, you'll be fine. Kick your feet back and relax. Were you in such a hurry for... Any way... For any way? Uh, we're... Or what are you such in a hurry for anyway? You ha haven't got a job waiting for you outside or anything. Huh? How do you know that? Oh, well, nurse, uh... He snaps his fingers trying to remember. Anna? Or Anna? Nurse Anna? That's the one. She told me. And yes, I know about you too. No need to act surprised. You're a lucky guy, you know that. Yeah. When I first found out, I was against letting her care for you, being objective and all that stuff, you know. But she really wanted to, so I thought, whatever. And she talk, uh, she's talking, taking it so well, so uh, it's okay, I guess. The doctor stares off into space, then looks at me and grins. Oh, I see. It's her. What? She's the reason you went to get the- you want to get the hell out of here, huh? I don't believe you. There's no privacy here at all. Oh, no, I don't- I didn't. Okay. Don't be ashamed now. I get what it's like. He drops a smile. But you can't be thinking of those sort of things. We've got, uh, we've got to rest properly. All right? All right. He leaves with, uh, with a thumbs up. Two of the other patients are laughing and whistling and, which must be jealousy. Grumbling. Okay. Idiots. My journal is pressed up against me in a new hiding spot. I've moved it three times now. I've got to write in it. My thoughts are burning a hole in my skull. I've got to share them with someone, even if that someone is a piece of paper. But now she's still out there somewhere. August 6th. Damn it, god damn it, it all. Or, damn it, god damn it all. I'm stuck here with nothing to do but lie uselessly and wait. 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 And wait. And wait. And wait. All I can do is wait. Nothing to do but wait. 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 
For how long? Oh, is it Anna? It's two hours after I've written down these words, those words. I'm looking at a little notebook that is my journal. I've got it in my hands. I am amazingly lucky to have it. I'm counting the pages I've got left in the notebook, checking how much ink there is in, the, in my pen. Then she comes in and I feel my heart drop. Stop. Good evening, boys. She greets everyone, but she's only looking at me. I murmur back a hello. Meanwhile, my hands are still holding the notebook, clutching it actually. I can't feel be I can feel beads of sweat forming on my forehead. The notebook is small, very small. My hands must be hiding it from view or are they? If she noticed Anna pays and no mine. She wheels in a cart with our medication. While she's busy with another patient, I slip the notebook and pen under my blankets, smooth it over, and lie quietly. How are you holding up, sweetie? I nearly jumped at Anna's whispered word. I nearly jumped at Anna's whispered words. I didn't notice her approach. Fine, fine. I'm fine. Thanks. Hmm. Hmm. Jack, don't you remember what I told you? It's not good to put on a brave face. I'm here for you, okay? What's that about? What's this about? Does she know? Does she know, guys? Does she know or does she not know? I know about everything, you see? She, le <laughs> she leans in closer. I nearly faint. Everything. Everything, guys. I know about everything you know. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I had a little chat with your doctor, you know, and he told me all about how much trouble you're having down there. As soon as I realized what she means, my body, my, my tense body loosens up. Why am I doing this voice? Oh, yeah, that, that. It's, uh... A bit of a problem, I guess. Oh, sweetie. Well, I'm sorry. Your health has priority over sex. But don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. She puts her hand on my blanket, starts smoothing it out. Uh, absent-mendly. It makes me happy, though, to see you like this again. After how you acted before your accident, I thought, never mind. Without warning- Oh, without warning, she leans in even closer. I feel her hot breath on my cheek. But since you're so eager, Jack, I promise that after you're released, I'll give you the time of your life. I'll make you finally forget all about- Grace, oh my god. What is going on with this Grace girl? Her words are like a slap in the face. I can only stare back. Hmm. Hmm. So you still care about her? I... I don't like that. What? Someone like you and someone like her, you never should have been together in the first place. Please think only me of me. <sighs> After all, we were made for each other. Oh, I went into my normal voice. If I do, if I promise, I'll be with you always. Will you leave Grace out of this? No, that's not good. I can't do that. That. Just your, just your asking that. It shows you're still thinking about her. She hasn't got anything to do with this. With what you did to me, and what, and what I'll do to you. So leave her out of it. Are, are you holding her, her somewhere? Ah, at least that girl's good for one thing. Thanks to her, you've got a good. You've been a good boy, even though you're still so confused. Anna, please. I'm close to crying. 
I want to tear her hair out. Anna smiles again. Fine, sweetie. I promise I won't hurt her. As long as you do one thing for me. Do you know what that is? I do. Of course I do. It's something she's been telling me to do for ages, since before I got here. She's like a broken re uh, record. You want me to remember everything. Yep. Oh, I can't wait. When you do that, everything will be perfect. We'll be together again forever. So promise you'll remember? I promise, I'll try. No. That's not good enough. You promised you'd try before, and look where that got us. Tell me you'll do it. I, I promise. I'll recall it all. Good. We'll work on that when you get out of here, but if your memory comes back to you before then, tell me before you tell anyone else. Okay? Bye-bye for now. She is creepy. She wheels out the cart, glancing back at at le uh, back one last time with that eerie look of hers. I can't tell her I already remember. I've known since before my injury. I've known that we were both children. She, no, I can't tell her. If I do that, she wins and Grace dies. And maybe I die too. I can't win by playing along with Anna's delusions. Delusions. It means, uh, I don't know what it means. Chapter 2. Okay, so... I'm gonna save. I'm not gonna do anything else. Right there, saved. It's saved, right? Alright, guys. That is where I'm going to stop for now. I'm on chapter two. And, uh. I don't know. I like it already. It's a lot of reading, but, uh. But we'll, uh. I guess if you guys stay with me throughout the series, I guess you guys, uh, you guys will, uh, figure out what happens and the violence and everything like that. Anyway, I hope you guys subscribe. I hope, oh, can, oh, can you guys do me a favor? Make sure you go to shop, wait, over here, shop dot, shop dot spreadshirt dot com slash game junkies two and buy the new merchandise. I have new merchandise out. By the time this video comes out, it's a new design, it's sick, and I hope you guys like it. I don't know what I'm saying because it's not out yet, but anyway, I hope you guys buy it, I hope you guys like it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!